As always, it's very important to use the right alloy for your operation. And two common alloys that are compared are aluminum and nickel. But what's best for my operation? Stick around and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hi there, my name is Andrew Kotlar, and to make sure your mesh can withstand the environment of your operation, you must identify an alloy that works. Stainless steel is the standard alloy used, but it doesn't always make sense. If that's the case, you're left with specialty alloys like aluminum and nickel. Well, WS Tyler has been weaving wire mesh into dozens of industries for over 150 years. Our main objective is simple, helping you remove any doubts you have in wire mesh so you can deliver quality products consistently. So in this video, we'll go over what aluminum wire mesh is, the benefits of using aluminum wire mesh, what nickel wire mesh is, the benefits of using nickel, and which alloy makes sense for you. Aluminum is widely known as a natural element in the periodic table. That said, aluminum in a pure form is not commonly seen because it's known to bind with other elements. Now for the wire mesh industry, three aluminum variants stand out as the prominent choices. These variants are 1100 aluminum, uh, Alcloud 5056, and 5056 aluminum. Aluminum is often the preferred choice when weight is a concern. It's vastly lighter than stainless steel, which is the standard alloy used to weave wire mesh. This helps reduce the amount of stress on your equipment, which reduces the amount of energy used. And another critical reason aluminum is used is its ability to form a protective oxide layer when the surface comes into contact with oxygen. And because of that, aluminum wire mesh can combat some of the more troublesome forms of corrosion. Aluminum is also known to provide great levels of heat conductivity, but at the same time, aluminum can serve as a perfect electrical conductor. And if you're wanting custom wire mesh components, aluminum is highly malleable and perfect for customization. Just like aluminum, nickel is a naturally occurring element that is featured on the periodic table of elements. It's considered a specialty alloy because it's typically reserved for applications that have a strict criteria when it comes to what materials are used. When designing a woven wire mesh solution, you can choose one of two nickel variants. These variants are nickel 200 and monal alloy 400. Nickel is used when a high resistance to corrosive elements is needed. It's used for special applications, specifically when industrial acids and lyes are present. This includes a variety of organic compounds, caustic, alkalines, and halogenides. Nickel shares similar characteristics to aluminum in the way that it's, it's known to bring a desirable heat and electrical conductivity, but a standout feature is its ability to conduct magnetic energy. First and foremost, aluminum is a much softer alloy than nickel. That means that nickel is going to provide better durability. But to that end, aluminum's soft qualities allow it to be formed easier than nickel alloys. Additionally, aluminum should be used over nickel when the weight of your screen or, or filter media is a concern. But in terms of heat conductivity, it should be known that nickel can withstand greater temperatures. Actually, in fact, the, the melting point of nickel is approximately uh, 1,450 degrees Celsius, while aluminum has a melting point of only 660 degrees Celsius. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.